What is going on guys? My name is Dixon and welcome to the channel where we do men's fashion, grooming and lifestyle content to help you dress your best life. And in today's video, I'm going to review Anson belts which in my opinion, the best belts that I've ever owned. Sounds interesting? Let's get into it. Alright, so before we get into it, I just want to say that this video is not sponsored at all. I actually bought the Anson belt in 2018 and they're still holding up really good. But I also decided to reach out to the founder, David, who to date still handles his own customer service, which really shows that his company really wants to stay close to their customers. And he was kind enough to send me one of their box sets to review, and as usual, I'm going to give you my brutally honest one. Alright, here's a little unboxing for you. First off, I gotta say their packaging is super solid. It comes with an instruction manual as well on how their buckles work. You can pause the video for this part because I just want to get to the good part. Would you look at that? Damn! That whiff of leather smell though. So the strap and buckles are nicely and tightly packed in the box. So the strap I got here is the one and a quarter inch variant and I got three different colors. The ox blood leather, the black leather, and the dark brown leather. And for the buckles, I got the traditional rose gold and matte, and the traditional formal gunmetal with curved and bar. And of course, I had to ask for the belt hanger as well, which I will also review in today's video, so watch till the end. So what is an Anson belt? Put it simply, Anson belts are belts without your traditional holes that uses a micro-adjustable technology where you have a track system that's embedded behind your straps that is held in place with your special buckle like this at quarter inch increments. On each of their buckles, you'll find a release lever that allows you to instantly remove your belt like this. Anson belts also allows interchangeability of their buckles with different straps provided that the size of the buckles are the same. This is truly a game changer for me because I'm all about that interchangeable wardrobe and the Anson belts fit right in. So out of the box, these belts come in long, 55 inches long. So to find your right size, take your buckle and attach it into the raw end of the strap like this and closing the latch. The teeth is going to bite into the strap and create a really firm grip. Then wear your belt as per usual and tighten until you find your optimal fit. I personally like having my belt slightly on the longer side until it reaches the side loops but honestly it boils down to your personal preference. Measure it with a measuring tape or a ruler and remove the buckle and cut that amount off from the raw side down and of course don't screw up here because there's no turning back so word of advice always cut less until you find your perfect fit. All right, so moving on with the review, I'm gonna base it off four things. Their design, their functionality, their quality, and the price. All right, first up, their design. I gotta say with their whole micro adjustable technology alone has made the belts look way better because there's no holes. Ensign belts do offer a large variety of designs with their straps, covering formal ones all the way down to the casual ones. Their buckles are also minimally designed, which I really like. Very plain and simple. Come on guys, these are belts, so simplicity is key here. So for the design, I'll give Anson belt a 5 out of 5. Alright, so moving on with the functionality. The Anson belt's micro-adjustable technology may seem gimmicky at first, but trust me, they are truly a game changer. Because you can make the slightest of changes with the release lever, which honestly comes in clutch after a large meal. Another thing here is removing a belt has never been easier. You know those annoying times at the airport where you need to remove your belt before passing the metal detectors and everyone behind you is like waiting for you to do it? So with the Anson belt, you have none of that. Not only that, the whole micro-adjustable technology actually helps with the longevity of the Anson belt as compared to traditional belts with holes because of two things. Number one, the Anson belt doesn't require you to insert your straps into the buckle the traditional way, which means no long-term damage to the leather. And number two, the Anson belts don't have those metal prongs, which means no constant tension when you wear them, which of course plays a massive role with the overall durability. So for functionality, definitely a 5 out of 5. Alright, so moving on with their durability. Like I said, I've owned these belts for about 4 years now, and I don't think I've owned a traditional belt that lasted me more than 4 years without it dying on me. So I can confidently say that these belts are durable as hell. No issues with the buckles or the release mechanism for the 4 years that I've used them and the magnets are still really strong. But I did notice that the paint on the black buckles has started chipped off which is expected over time. Another thing that I noticed on the black belt is the wrinkling. You don't really see it when it's rolled up but when you straighten it, 
you can definitely see the wrinkles forming which is a shame because the belts don't feel as great and supple i'm not too sure if this is a rare case because my brown belt is completely fine which shows that there's a bit of inconsistencies with handsome belts. For me, I interchange the buckles and the straps quite a fair bit to match my medals and my shoes. And over time, I realized that the grip between the buckles and the straps will start to loosen up. One trick here, which I would advise is, like I said, I prefer my belt slightly on the longer side because that actually gives you a bit of leeway to recut the raw ends to give you a fresh regrip but of course, you can only do this a couple of times. All right, so one thing that I noticed with their canvas belts is this. But surprisingly enough, it has no impacts on the wearability. It's still working fine, just that it doesn't look as great. The brown belt, on the other hand, still looks amazing. The leather still feels really good and supple, and the stitching has no inconsistencies and no wear or tear at all, which is very surprising. But just like any belt, the Anson belt falls victim to the inevitable belt curve. Hopefully, with their belt hangers, the Anson belts can maintain their straightness a little longer. A future review, maybe. So in terms of quality, I'll give the Anson belt a 4 out of 5 because of the inconsistencies. Alright, so moving on with their price, there are one strap, one buckle combination, costs about $49.99 US dollars at the time of making this video, which seems to be on the pricier side when comparing it to other belts. Honestly, their five-piece box are way more worth it because you get three straps or two buckles, or vice versa, which means you get a total combination of six belts for $99. So if you do the math, that comes down to about $17 a belt. Remember, it's not only about the initial cost, but the overall cost per wear as well. Like I said, these belts are incredibly durable as compared to your traditional belts, which you'll probably need to replace after a couple of years, which actually increases the overall cost per wear. And with Anson's lifetime guarantee, you can always get them replaced in case there's any issues. But one massive downside here is their shipping. So Anson Belts only offers free shipping in the US for purchases above $70 which is a bummer for people like myself who's outside the US because for me, it's going to cost an additional $30 to get it shipped to my place. So unfortunately, the extra $30 actually make the belt go from a reasonably priced belt to a not so reasonably priced belt. So for price, I'll give the Anson belt a 3.5 stars out of 5, which gives the Anson belt a total score of 4.5 stars out of 5. Alright, so moving on with their belt hangers. First impressions with their build quality, I gotta say, they're really solid. They're made out of the same materials with their buckles, so you can expect the quality to be on point here. So these belt hangers are obviously made for the Ensign belt. The holders are made with a very similar design with their buckles, which also has a release mechanism and a ratchet to hold the belts in place. But instead of it being magnets, it actually functions with a spring mechanism that holds the belt really well. I actually like that Ensign belt designed this hanger where the buckles are meant to be on the bottom because that extra bit of weight can actually help to distribute and straighten the belt over time after a long days of wearing it. The hanger holds up to four straps which is honestly a good number though I would definitely prefer it if it holds six or more because I have more than four right now but definitely a good starting point. I think Anson can go a little further with their designs maybe an extra compartment to hold your additional buckles. I don't know just a thought because some people might have more buckles compared to straps. Alright, the big question, is the belt hanger worth the $24.99 price tag? For me, I gotta say no, and that's excluding shipping. I'm honestly alright with your traditional belt hangers that cost about $5 that holds up to 10 straps. So overall, I'll give the Anson belt hanger a total score of 3.5 stars out of 5. So that's it folks, my review on Ensign belts. So definitely check them out, I'll leave some links down in the description below. And let me know down in the comments, what should I review next? Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to give me one of these, because that's going to help the channel grow, and for me to continue to create content for you guys. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for regular content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay dapper.